that um, it's called the ABC method, and it's something that's truly changed a lot of our businesses, and it makes it so when I first started, hey man, you want to check out this business opportunity, here's the numbers, this and that, it sounds sketchy as fuck, it doesn't work, so what you gotta do is you gotta find out where people are at in their lives, you gotta talk to them, you have to be yourself, because the moment that you stop being yourself is the moment that this business starts to get sketchy. You can, you, can, you can look at the ABC method. Like, guys, A, like, where are you at? B, where do you want to be? C, you have to make a change. D, make a decision. E, everything else. The thing is, if you do your ABCs backwards and you go out and you tell everybody everything else, now they're going to be like, okay, business opportunity, 150, 500, <coughs> this and that. That's not sketchy, dude. That doesn't sound like something I want to be a part of. But when you start off with the why instead of the how, that's what you need to focus on. When you think too much about the how, people are going to, to see that. They're going to see, okay, this kid doesn't even have a reason why he's doing this thing. So the way that I look at it, guys, what I kind of do every single time is I kind of tell my story. I say, hey, guys, here's where I was at. Hey, I was working at Taco Bell a year ago. I was making minimum wage. I was making bullshit money, and it just sucked. It wasn't something I wanted to do. Like, B, where did I want to be? Where did I think that I could go? And, like, honestly, if I wanted to get to where I wanted to be, like, what did I have to do to get there? And the thing is, like, right now, if I asked you guys the question, um, if money was no issue, if money was absolutely no issue, would you still be doing the same things you're doing? If you won the lottery tomorrow, would you keep going to school? Probably not. If you won $286 million, the Powerball, tomorrow, would you go to school? Probably not. So the thing is, for me, if I won the lottery tomorrow, I would keep doing this. I promise you I would keep doing this because I get to meet new people every single day. So I'll get and I say, like, like it sounds cheesy, but like, if you think about it, when you close your eyes at night and you think where like you would want to be if money was no issue, I've got friends who want to move to Italy, who would want to do this, who would want to go support their families and go live on a beach, like, whatever it is, like, is what you're doing now going to get you there? Probably not. That's the thing. Working in corporate America is not going to get you to where you want to be. So see, you got to make a change. You have to make a change. You have to find something in your life. You have to find a vehicle, which is what Vima is, to make a change and go on that course in that direction. And that's why um, we realize you have to kind of make the decision to make this thing work. Like, you can make a change. You can join Vima. The thing is, if you don't make the decision to make it work, you don't make the conscious decision in your mind right now, this thing's going to be a priority. You're not going to get there. E, everything else, guys. That's when we talk about we talk about the business. We talk about the training, this and that. And now it's the exact same thing for when you're talking to a prospect. So you talk to them. Where are you at in your life? You going to school? You working? Are you happy? Do you enjoy what you're doing right now? You got to look at B. Where do they want to be? Where does that person want to be? You have to ask them that question I asked you guys. If money was no issue, would you keep doing what you're doing? You got buddies going to school to be doctors who, if money was no issue, I know for a fact they would not go to school to be a doctor anymore. That's the thing. A lot of people choose careers for money. Like, where do you truly want to be? Not realistically want to be. Where do you actually want to be? For me, I want to travel the world. I want to go all over the place. Realistically, take away Vima, I have no idea what I'd be doing. Absolutely no idea, because guess what? The jobs aren't there. See, how are you going to get there? Change. You have to make a change. Right vehicle, Vima. D, make the decision. Are you interested or are you out? Period. D, decision. E, everything else, once again. So, I mean, you guys got to understand that ABC method is so powerful. It's so powerful, because if you come to your friend and just start throwing everything else at them, they don't give a shit. They don't care, guys. They, they will not want to hear what you have to say because people don't care what you know until they know that you care. I mean, you got to think about that. People don't care what you know until they know that you care. And that's one of the biggest things that I can, I can honestly like stress to you guys is to be yourself. 100% be yourself. Don't go out and try and be all businessy. Don't start wearing like business suits and ties and shit to meetings. Like We don't need to do that. Like Obviously, we're here in tennis shoes and, and a crew neck. Like, it's not a big deal. So you got to understand that we're young people. Run this business like young people. Be yourself. Go on Facebook, send a message to your friend, be like, hey, bro, what's good? Come over. How you doing? I want to tell you about something. Come over. You got to see this thing. Dude, check out this YouTube video. I'm excited. I want to get your opinion on it. Not, hey, bro, I'm involved in this awesome business opportunity. I think that because your business minded this and this and that, that you can go out and blow this thing up. You don't have to do that. And literally, just be like, bro, I'm excited. My boy Jamie's making this X amount of money. He's driving a brand new car. My boy TK is making $4,000 a month and about to get in a brand new Benz. My boy Luke Hessler is making $15,000 a month. He's in a brand new Benz. I'm tracked to hit a quarter million dollars a year in the next two months. People say, hey, I want to talk to that kid. I want to hear <laughs> what that person myself. has to say. What's good? I didn't piss myself to sink. That's how he comes out. Yeah, this is how you record. Why is this how you record? That was. I want to announce that if I sit down. I roll. But, um, I mean, guys, just 100%, just really, really, really listen to what I have to say because, I mean, 
it, it's so essential, guys. When I started, we had none of this. Didn't know what the ABC method was. First thing that I did was I sent out a message to 350 of my Facebook friends saying, hey, guys, just join this awesome pyramid scheme. Pyramid schemes are illegal. They, they don't, we don't have pyramid schemes because they're 100% illegal in the United States. There's no tangible product or commodity. Here's the difference. I wasn't educated. We didn't have the education, we didn't have the resources, we didn't have the upline who are successful who could answer your questions. When I started, there was Luke Hessler who couldn't even answer my questions, who could barely explain this thing to my friends. No one in a car, no one making money. I mean, honestly, when we go to a normal meeting, I usually ask the question, like, how many people in this room have made over $100? And the thing is, I'll get over 50% of the room raising their hand. That shows you this thing works. That shows you it works, it's just a matter of if it's going to work for you. That's the biggest thing you guys have to figure out is right now, figure out this is going to be for you because if it's not for you you know that get out it's not for you this is a long-term thing this is something that i've been doing for a year like we've worked our asses off the thing is we want to work with people who are taking this thing seriously we want to work with people who want to make a change because guess what if you're not teachable if you're not coachable if you're not willing to accept change and keep doing what you've always done and keep getting what you've always got period keep doing what you always you've, you've always done you're gonna keep getting what you always got you have to do something different in order to get something different. You look at it and say, you do what they do, you say what they say, you get what we get. Do what we do, and I promise you, you'll get what we get. But at the same time, do what everyone else does, and you'll get what they get too. So the thing is, unless you're willing to accept someone else's lifestyle, don't accept their advice. So if you're willing to accept this lifestyle, then listen to us. Listen to us. If you want to make this kind of money, I promise you, we'll help you. You just have to be proactive. You have to actually come to us. Because, I mean, I'm working with thousands of kids. So, obviously, if you, you shoot me a text, you call me, you blow up my phone, I'm going to get back to you. Because you obviously are proactive and want to make this thing work. That's huge. So, now you got to look at it and really say, like, is this thing worth it? Is it worth it? Yeah, absolutely. Because guess what? If you join this thing and it doesn't work, the worst thing that happened was you got to drink an awesome energy drink. Let's say you don't join this thing and it does work. Think about the fear of loss. Think about the difference, your opportunity cost. So, if you don't join this thing, and I got these guys right next to me making a million dollars in the next two years, and that could be you, that could be part of your team. The fear of loss is much higher because you're thinking, okay, if I don't join this thing and it blows up, I'm losing out on making a million dollars. I'm losing out on becoming financially free for the rest of my life. If I do this thing and it doesn't work, I got to drink two cases of an awesome energy drink. That's it. So the fear of loss for not doing it and this thing works is way higher than doing it and it doesn't work. So it's worth at least giving it a shot. It's worth at least giving it a shot, guys, because obviously we've got something here. We've got leaders who know what they're talking about. How many times have you ever heard 19, 20-year-old kids speak to you like this about your lives? Never. This is unheard of. There's nothing going on like that around the world. We've definitely got kids here who care about other people's success. For me, Bima's not going to be a career. For TK, I know Bima's not going to be a career. But guess what? It's going to pay us for the rest of our lives. It's our vehicle to get us towards what we really want to do. Me, I want to travel the world. I want to go start a couple businesses. I know this kid wants to do the exact same. The thing is, how are we going to do it? By using Verve as a vehicle, because guess what? Nowhere else in the fucking world can you go out and make six figures in a year. Nowhere. Especially at 18 years old. 14 years old. I have a 16-year-old. I have a 16-year-old in my team who's going to go out and make six figures before he graduates high school. I promise you that. One of the fastest growing kids on my team. He's going to make six figures before he graduates high school. That's du more than double what most teachers make at that school that he goes to. How crazy is that? 16. He's going to be driving a brand new Mercedes Benz before the school year's over. We drive them to the parking lot before the school year is over. So, like, obviously. Lock that bad boy yeah, out. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go key his car. <laughs> you guys just got to look at this thing and say, Which obviously, you're at the right place at the right time with the right people. I mean, like Dave said, look at this thing like, Dave, like, like Mark Zuckerberg when he was telling people about Facebook. Guess what? He invited 15 people over to his dorm, and 10 showed up. Six said no, four said yes, dude. And like two of those people are literally worth four point three billion and three point three billion. So that's crazy. Bill Gates invited a bunch of people over to his house and the two people who said yes to him, everyone else said you're crazy, you'll never ever do that. They're both on the top twenty Forbes like wealthiest men in the world list. Yeah, they're like number six and number seventeen. Right? Yeah, so like that's crazy. The two people who said yes to Bill Gates who just kinda saw his vision. So that's one of the things in this is you have to have the ability to, to be able to see like to see the big picture, to, to have vision. If you don't have that, if you can't see this thing, not just for what it is right now, but for what it's going to become, then like this business isn't for you. For us, we look at it and say, look at where we were. No website. We have an awesome website now. No videos. We have a million videos now. No resources. No one making money. We have hundreds of kids making money all across the nation. We didn't have any of that. So now you see that you guys have such a better opportunity than we did. Excuse me. We've got kids doing what it took me a year to do in six months.
We've got kids doing what it took TK to do in six months in two months. That's crazy. We've got kids getting into cars in a month. In a month. Like, reality, what's possible, is no longer there. Because kids are completely shattering reality and breaking records and doing things that we've never seen before. Because guess what? Before, young people in network marketing was a joke. None of us had money. All of us are too lazy. None of us care enough about our future. That's a big thing. Most of us don't care enough about our future. And the thing is, I don't even believe that we're lazy. I believe we're distracted. One of the best things I've ever heard, guys, is think about it. You're, we're not lazy. You can stay up for 18 hours playing Xbox Live. That takes some dedication. <laughs> like you're not lazy. You're just distracted. <laughs> you are distracted. You're playing Xbox instead of grinding on this business. <coughs> you can stay up all night and watch Netflix. You are not lazy. I promise you that. It takes a lot of dedication and effort. So it's shift your focus from whatever the fuck you're doing towards this instead. And guess what? This is going to help you for the rest of your life. The thing is you have to make, you have to believe it. That's the thing is you have to believe that it can actually help you. If you still have doubt in your mind, other people are going to be able to sense that. If people have doubt that you still have doubt, they're not going to follow you. I mean, in order for you to be a leader, you have to have people have just complete confidence in you. Because they look at you and they see that you're not confident that you're going to be successful. Why would they be confident that you're going to lead them towards success? That's one of the biggest things. You see us, you, I promise you, promise you I'll hit six figures in the next two months. I had a quarter million before my 20th birthday in August. Only way I can do that is by helping you guys. I help you guys reach your goals, I reach my goals. Period. Same with these guys. I mean, it's unreal, guys, what you guys have that we didn't have. And you really, really, truly have to, to understand what a great opportunity you guys have. And like the last thing that I'm kind of going to touch on that um, a lot of you guys have probably heard or haven't heard is, is a Harvard study. you got to think about this really, really, really seriously. Harvard Business School came out with a study on network marketing. Harvard, not me, not TK, not Dave, none of these guys. Harvard Business School. And they said that there are three criteria that a network marketing company needs to live up to in order to be an amazing opportunity. Number one is that it has to be within 18 months. It has to be past 18 months of business in a completely debt-free company. We're a $117 million company, completely debt-free, hit our highest, uh, our highest sale, sales month in February ever, where if we don't do any better, we're going to hit, um, what is it, like $200, $250 million this year? Something like that. So we're going to more than double if we don't do any better, if we just keep doing the same. So we're completely debt-free. We're past 18 months. The reason it can be past 18 months is because 95% network marketing companies fail in their first 18 months. They fail. They die out in sustainable business model, shitty product. Number two. You have to have a highly consumable, unique product that stands alone within the market. A highly consumable, unique product that stands alone within the market. Highly consumable, you drink verb, it's gone, you need more. Period. You drink verb, it's gone, you need more. I mean, you think there's other network marketing companies with jewelry. You don't need to buy more jewelry every month. But if you drink all your verb, you need to buy more of it. Highly consumable. This will always be around because people will always love the product. It has to be unique and stands alone within the market. Red Bulls, Rockstars, Monstars, Amp, etc. All these bad energy drinks, we don't even go against them. We're in a completely different market segment. Energy drinks over $4 billion, they're supposed to increase to $20 billion in the next five years. $20 billion, that's huge. Vima itself is projected to be a $21 billion company. So energy drinks are going to increase a hell of a lot more than that. So you got to look at that and say, like, okay, well, the first two criteria we already meet. Perfect. The third one is the most important one, the one you really, really, really need to listen to and see how, how serious this opportunity is and like what the weight of it is on you guys, is that if there's half of 1% of the country of origin's population involved, then it's considered a ground floor opportunity. So that means that if there's less than 1.5 million people in America involved because it, or it came from America and that's half of 1% of our population, is 1.5 million people involved, it's considered a ground floor opportunity. Where you should probably get into this thing because people are, are, are already making money and it's still a good opportunity. Now, if there's less than 500,000 people, it's considered a great opportunity, something where it's in the momentum stage and you